Hey everybody, it's Rafi from the Foundation Team and I got another great lesson for you. So today we're going to solve a nagging problem in CSS. Why is it so difficult to vertically align content in your layouts? Now this shouldn't be that hard. There's a lot of hacks that are out there like display table and using transforms. But then you have to use position absolute and then find a parent that is position relative. It's all just a jumbled mess. So we're going to do it in a much better way. We're going to use Flexbox and show you how the new Foundation 6 Flexbox grid helps you vertically align content much easier. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about Flex Columns and Flexbox is that all the columns inside of a row actually want to be the same height as each other, which is really nice. So if you used Equalizer in Foundation 5 before, um, this kind of eliminates the need for that. So all these columns, as you can see, there's some really tall content on the right side of this column, and all the other columns inside that row actually want to be the same height. And same up here with this example with a button. Uh, the rest of the columns inside that row want to be the same height, which is really nice. So you can actually override this behavior uh, by making the columns uh, vertically aligned to the bottom, middle, or the top. So first let's start with uh, showing you how to align all the columns inside of a row. So if you add the class of align middle, what that's going to do is it's going to make each column uh, height auto. So they're no longer going to be uh, the same height as the tallest one in the row. Now they're going to have uh, they're automatically uh, sized by the content inside of them. So align middle will align all the columns to the middle inside of this row. And of course we can do top and then they'll align to the top. We can also do bottom and they'll align to the bottom. Now what if you don't want to align all the columns inside of the row but just individually? So there's a class for that as well. So it's align self, and then you probably guessed it, bottom, align self, middle, and align self, top. And so now they're going to be uh, height auto, so whatever content is inside of that dictates the height, and they're going to be vertically aligned either top, middle, or bottom, whichever one you choose. Now, of course, the last column here is not going to change because that is what's dictating the height of the entire row, and it's already full of content, so it'll fill the entire height. So we'll take a look at another example here. So this top row with the button. Now this is actually a button inside of a column, and what if we want to uh, vertically align the content inside of this column? Well, we can do that. So first of all, let's give this some breathing room. So we'll make these columns a little bit taller. So I have a class here that makes them a little bit taller. And then we're gonna vertically align this button inside of that. Now you're gonna need a little bit of CSS for that, and the reason is that rows by default our flex parents, and that means that all the con uh, the columns inside of the row can be adjusted using uh, Flexbox um, helpers. Now, if you want to make a column of flex parent, we could do that. So I have this class that we created here. It's align middle. We're going to make it display flex, and then align items center. Uh, this will actually uh, vertically align the button in the middle. So let's go ahead and add this class. Line middle. So now because the column is a flex parent, the content inside of it can be manipulated to be moved in the center. And in flex box terms or in display flex, a line item center actually vertically aligns something. And then if we want to horizontally align it as well, justify content center uh, does the trick there as well. So now we have a perfectly centered button inside of a taller column. All right, right on. So now you're an expert at vertically aligning content using Flexbox. Now Flexbox is something you can use now. 
So you can go ahead and grab a Flexbox version in the downloads or configure it in your SCSS project and get going with it right now. Check out the lesson below for more details on how to use Flexbox. And if you're looking for a deeper dive, our Advanced Foundation 6 class talks about Flexbox, SAS, project structure, and a lot more. So check that out as well. So that's it for this week. I'm Rafi from the Foundation team, and we'll see you next week for another great lesson.